If you turn on the TV, you will travel into a dimension of cameras, computers, and microphones. A dimension of cameramen, editors, and reporters. This dimension is called FLTV. Hi, I'm McKenna. And I'm Marcos. And, and this, this is, is FLTV. FLTV. So McKenna, how many twins are there at Fate? I don't know. Should I count them in pairs? Oh, that's a knee slapper. Let's take it to Mackenzie to see how many twins are there at Fate. Hi, I'm Mackenzie with FLTV. There are many upsides and downsides to being a twin. Twins at Faith tell us what they think about each other. Have you ever wondered what people think of their twin? Faith students tell us what's the upside and the downside of having a twin. When I'm being stupid, she kind of helps me to like figure everything out. We help each other with homework. Nothing. Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you never get lonely? She can be really annoying sometimes, most of the time. He really annoying, and sometimes he acts like he's older than me, but actually I'm six minutes older. She's really annoying. You have to share everything. Many students here at Faith are an only child. Let's see what they think having a twin is like and if they wish they had a twin. Well, I think it would be pretty fun to have someone around you all the time or to have fun confusing your parents if you're identical. I really wish I did have a twin. It'd be nice to have something, someone to have something in common with all the time. Teacher Mrs. Grant has twins of her own. The question is, what was it like raising them and how does she feel about them now? Uh, right now, the problem I'm facing right now is that they're my youngest, they're 18, and they're going off to college, so now I have no children left. Raising twins as opposed to just raising my daughter, um, it was, sometimes it was hard because you had to do everything at the same time. Even though twins fight sometimes, in the end, they're still best friends. I'm Mackenzie with FLTV, back to you in the studio. Now I can tell some twins apart. Yeah, there's lots of twins at Faith. I have to buy something for my Valentine's. Well, I hope it's worth it. I hope it is. Let, let's go to Brooke and see if any single Pringles are ready to mingle. Here at Faith Lutheran, there are many holidays celebrated, including Valentine's Day. We ran around the school asking to see if students have a date or a date with themselves. Do you have a Valentine? Actually, I have four. I have me, myself, I, and this girl. Yes, I do, and her name is Natalie. Um, Marcos. Uh, I do not, but for February, I hope I do. Shout out to all the ladies out there. Many people here at Faith either love this holiday or despise it. Let's ask some students what they think about this holiday. No, I think it's pointless in that it makes people feel bad about themselves if they don't have a significant other. Um, I think it's a good holiday. It recognizes uh, women and it just recognizes dates and everything across the country. So I like it, yeah. Valentine's Day is on a Sunday. Let's ask students if they have any plans for this year. I don't know yet, but I pretty sure I will. Um, probably not. <laughs> um, probably not. Honestly, unless I get a date. Once again, shout out to all those ladies. As you see, many students have dates or just dates with their couch. I'm Brooke and back to you at the studio. Wow, I wish I joined Lip Sync. Well, I did, and you sure missed out. Let's go to Connor and see who's on Lip Sync. Every year, Faith Lutheran has a Lip Sync competition. During Lip Sync, people dance and mouth the words to the music. We are going out to get the inside scoop on Lip Sync. What's your theme this year? High School Musical. Uh, Toy Story. James Bond. As each grade prepares for the lip sync battle, we were curious to see if the grades are ready for the competition. Yes, because we have great people in our group that have good dance moves. Somewhat because some of our groups need to um, clean it up a little bit. Yes, because we're very determined to win and Mr. Wagner helps us with everything that we're learning. Lip sync is a very exciting and stressful event. In, the, in this case, we're going to find out if students are excited for lip sync. Yes. Why? 
Uh, because I'm excited to show off my great dance moves. Yes, because I want to see the seventh grade win since last year they didn't. Yes, because we've been working really hard and I like doing lip sync. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still hyped up about the lip sync competition. Seventh grade won, sixth grade took second, and eighth grade got third. Let's take a moment to congratulate all the students and teachers who participated in lip sync. They did a great job. I'm Connor, back to you in the studio. I got spirit, yes I do. Live through school, he's right for you. Oh yeah, we get to dress up this week, right? Yes, we do. Let's get more information about Lutheran Schools Week from Gwen. Hi, I'm Canyon, and this is National Lutheran Schools Week. Hopefully many students participate because it would be really interesting to see what everyone is wearing for all of the different days. What are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to pajama day. That would be the Disney day. This week is some of students' favorite week in the whole school year, and participating makes it so much more fun. The only day that isn't that fun is the day that you have to wear $5 to wear jeans, according to most students. What do you think about Lutheran Schools Week? It's fun. Um, just so the students could also have some fun. I think it's good because school's really boring, so you gotta have something to spice it up. Lutheran Schools Week consists of Pajama Day, Sports Day, Disney Day, and paying $5 to wear jeans for Jesus. This week is for making school more interesting and fun. This week has been great, seeing what everyone was wearing and all of their creative ideas. This is very fun. Hopefully, next year, it will be just as great. Thanks for watching. Wow, lots of people have dressed up a lot this year. Yes, they have. So, let's, so McKenna, have you been dress coded yet? No, I don't think I will. Faculty is really strict this year. That's true. Let's get more information on who has been dress coded yet. Hi, I'm Matthew Point for FLTV. At the start of the new year, teachers and faculty have been more strict on the dress code rules. We will be hearing from our fellow crusaders about their thoughts on the topic. Have you been dress coded? Um, no, I haven't. Yes. Yes. Do you think that the new dress code rules are fair? Well, they're not really new dress code rules. They're, they're, they've been the rules ever for a long time, so, um, but yes, they are. What would you do if you were dress coded? Um, I'd probably never get dress coded again because I'd follow the rules. How did you feel when you were walking up to the office? I was scared because I don't like getting in trouble. Uh, I, should, I felt like I should have worn some different pants. How many students get called up to your office daily? Well, it's, it used to be the highest number we had was 24, but the last amount was three. At the start of the new year, teachers and faculty have started cracking down on students not in dress code. We will ask our fellow crusaders what they think about the topic. What do you think of these rules? Um, I think they're good sometimes because like some people should like get busted because like they're purposely not wearing the right clothes. What do you think of the new rules? I think that they're very strict. I think they're too strict and I should be able to wear sewn on pockets on the pants. After hearing our crusaders thoughts, now you know what the dress code rules are and now you know how to follow them. I'm Matthew Thomas signing out. You're right, McKenna. All the faculty has been keeping a really good eye on dress code this year. So did you watch the championships last night? Oh, yes. I want the Broncos to win, yeah. Me too. Let's see what other people's thoughts are on who wants to win the Super Bowl. Hi, I'm Nick Phillips. Today I'll be presenting to you our nation's pastime. Football is an integral part of today's culture. In fact, its biggest game, the Super Bowl, is coming up fast. I'll be interviewing several students on their predictions for the game, their opinions, and what their favorite part or traditions are. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl and why? Um, I think the Panthers are going to win because they've been strong all season and I don't think they're as I think they're better than the Broncos. Are you excited for it? Do you have any traditions? Uh, yeah, I always go to a friend's party and I'm kind of excited for it, but my team didn't make it in, so that makes me sad. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl and why? I think the Panthers will because they have a solid D. Their uh, offense is pretty good, but like my boy Mike Tolbu and Cam Newton, pretty good. What are your thoughts on the conference championship games last weekend? Um, the Cardinals should have won because they beat my Packers, which I think was kind of crazy, but 
Carlos should have won. So happy the Pages are out. And I have read that. Yeah. The Super Bowl started back in 1967 when the Packers beat the Chiefs. Since then, the Super Bowl has evolved to one of the most greatest televised events every year. Great excitement surrounds the game as the top teams from each conference face off. It is always a great thing to watch. Now you know more about America's pastime, the Super Bowl. Hope you have a good Super Bowl. This is FLTV signing out. Well, that's all we have for this news broadcast. This is this from, from FLTV. TV. Stay, stay holy, holy and stay fresh. fresh.